HBO Films suggests Peter Todd is Satoshi. Former Bitcoin developer denies claim. Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto. Peter Todd criticized the filmmaker for being irresponsible and putting his life in danger. Last updated. October 9th, 2024. At 07 colon 47 GMT plus 3. Author. Jai Pratap. Author. Jai Pratap. About author. Jai serves as the Asia Desk Editor for Cryptonews.com, where he leads a diverse team of international reporters. Jai has over five years of experience covering the Web3 industry. Author profile. Share. Copied. Last updated. October 9th, 2024. At 07 colon 47 GMT plus 3. Why trust Cryptonews? With over a decade of crypto coverage, Cryptonews delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Cryptonews a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about Cryptonews. HBO's highly anticipated documentary Money Electric. The Bitcoin mystery has sparked controversy by suggesting that Peter Todd, an early Bitcoin developer, is Satoshi Nakamoto, the mysterious creator of Bitcoin. Todd quickly denied the allegations, taking to X, formerly Twitter, to refute the claims. But the film has already set the crypto world abuzz. The nearly two-hour documentary, directed by Cullen Hoback, embarks on a globe-trotting investigation to solve one of the Internet's greatest mysteries, unmasking Nakamoto. Throughout the film, Hoback presents various leads and interviews several experts, gradually narrowing in on the former Bitcoin developer Peter Todd as the prime suspect. In a dramatic exchange towards the end, Todd is shown teasing Hoback by suggesting he is Nakamoto, only to contradict himself in later moments. This playful banter has left many viewers wondering whether Todd was simply toying with the filmmaker or if the claim carries weight. Following the film's premiere, debate erupted online, with some in the crypto community criticizing Hoback's conclusions. Many took to social media, particularly X, to voice their skepticism. Todd himself expressed frustration, stating that the evidence presented in the documentary was speculative and without substance. Despite Todd's denials, the film's revelation has added a fresh layer to the decade-long speculation surrounding Nakamoto's true identity. Peter Todd accuses film for putting his life in danger. In a statement to CNN, Pete criticized the HBO documentary and filmmakers behind it for being irresponsible and putting his life in danger. Cullen is really grasping for straws here, Todd added, accusing the filmmaker of exaggerating minor coincidences into a larger narrative. He also expressed frustration over not being contacted by HBO prior to the documentary's release, nor given the opportunity to preview the film. It's ironic, this kind of leap in logic is exactly what fuels conspiracy theories, Todd said. Hoback, best known for his work on Question Into the Storm, which explored the QAnon conspiracy, is no stranger to stirring controversy. In an interview with Fast Company, he acknowledged that naming Todd as Nakamoto would provoke heated debate. People are going to debate it no matter how strong our case is, and that's fine. That's the nature of this space, Hoback said. The identity of Satoshi Nakamoto remains one of the most enduring mysteries of the Internet age. Whoever Nakamoto is or was, they hold significant influence over Bitcoin's origins and potentially control over 1.1 million BTC, currently valued at approximately $68 billion. Despite years of investigations and countless theories, Nakamoto has managed to remain anonymous for over 15 years, a feat that continues to baffle the global crypto community. Follow us on Google News.